20 things you can do to save money in Singapore. 1. Use public transportation instead of owning a car. Singapore has an excellent public transportation system that is affordable and reliable, plus it saves you the hassle of finding a parking spot. 2. Pack your own lunch instead of eating out. Singapore has many hawker centers where you can find delicious and affordable food. 3. Use cash back or rewards credit cards. There are many credit cards in Singapore that offer cash back or rewards for your spending, so take advantage of them. 4. Look for deals and discounts. Check websites like Groupon or Fave for deals on dining, activities, and more. 5. Use a budgeting app or tool. Apps like Money Lover or Seedly can help you track your spending and stick to a budget. 6. Shop around for insurance. Don't settle for the first insurance policy you come across, compare prices and coverage to find the best deal. 7. Save on utilities by turning off lights and appliances when not in use. Singapore's hot and humid climate means you may not need to use your air conditioning as much as you think. 8. Make your own coffee instead of buying it. Singaporeans love their coffee, but buying a cup every day can add up quickly. 9. Use free or low-cost entertainment options. Singapore has many free or low-cost attractions, such as museums, parks, and festivals. 10. Bring your own water bottle instead of buying bottled water. Singapore's tap water is safe to drink, so save money and reduce plastic waste by bringing your own reusable water bottle. 11. Take advantage of tax breaks and government incentives. For example, the Singapore government offers tax breaks for contributions to retirement savings plans. 12. Shop around for the best exchange rates when traveling overseas. Don't exchange your money at the airport or in tourist areas, look for a reputable money changer with good rates. 13. Use coupons or promo codes when shopping online. Many online retailers offer discounts and promo codes that can save you money on your purchases. 14. Buy second-hand or refurbished items when possible. Singapore has many thrift stores and online marketplaces where you can find gently used items at a fraction of the cost. 15. Cut down on expensive habits like smoking and drinking. Not only will you save money, but you'll also improve your health. 16. Buy generic or store brand products instead of name brand items. Often, the generic or store brand version is just as good as the name brand, but at a lower cost. 17. Invest in energy-efficient appliances and light bulbs. While the initial cost may be higher, energy-efficient appliances and light bulbs can save you money on your utility bills in the long run. 18. Negotiate for better prices on big-ticket items. When making a major purchase, such as a car or home, don't be afraid to negotiate for a better price. 19. Avoid impulse purchases by waiting 24 hours before making a purchase. This gives you time to consider whether you really need the item, or if it's just a fleeting desire. 20. Buy groceries in bulk. Supermarkets often offer discounts when you buy in bulk, so stock up on your essentials. Remember, saving money doesn't have to be a chore, it can also be fun. For example, you can turn coupon clipping into a game, or challenge yourself to see how long you can go without spending money on non-essentials. And if all else fails, just remember the old joke, why was the math book sad? Because it had too many problems. Bonus. Bonus tips. Here are 5 tips to save money while eating at restaurants in Singapore. 1. Look for promotions and discounts. Many restaurants in Singapore offer promotions and discounts, such as one-for-one -one deals, credit card discounts, or loyalty programs. Check the restaurant's website or social media pages, or look for promotions on deal websites like Fave or Chope. 2. Share dishes with friends. Instead of ordering individual dishes, consider sharing larger dishes with friends or family. This can not only save you money, but also give you the opportunity to try more dishes. 3. Order from the lunch or set menu. Many restaurants offer lunch or set menus that are more affordable than the regular menu. 4. Bring your own drinks. Many restaurants in Singapore charge high prices for drinks, so consider bringing your own water bottle or other non-alcoholic drinks. 5. Avoid ordering unnecessary extras. Restaurants in Singapore often offer extras like appetizers, sides, or desserts, but these can quickly add up to a high bill. Consider skipping these extras or sharing them with others to save money. And if the restaurant offers free bread or other snacks, take advantage of them. In summary, there are many ways to save money in Singapore, from taking advantage of promotions and discounts to cutting back on unnecessary expenses. 
By being mindful of your spending and making small changes to your lifestyle, you can make a big difference in your financial situation. Whether you're saving for a big purchase, building an emergency fund, or planning for your future, these tips can help you reach your financial goals. Remember, saving money doesn't have to be difficult or boring, with a little creativity and effort, you can enjoy all that Singapore has to offer while still staying within your budget. Take care. And I see you in my next video.